Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for them. Wait, what are they doing? Oh. Hi, everybody. We're back with Whimsy Stories Episode 3. Thank you for watching. Welcome to my channel if you're new. And if you are not new, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I wasn't going to start recording until um, until morning, but uh, gremlins happened. So lots of things to fix now. <laughs> I'm hoping that um, our fridge won't disappear like it did last time. Love day was awful. Yeah, I'd say so. So let me see. I did send Joe off for counseling. It didn't tell me what they had. But I'm sure I'll figure something out. Um, okay. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. So, let's have you weed, sell all. And we need to um, do a little more on the... Uh, we need to do a little more on the, uh, the fabricating front. But also, I'd like to see if we can get to know Aaron more. Repair. 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 I heard you became friends with Aaron Conley. He's pretty cool. Yeah, I'd say I think he's pretty cool. So let's see. Handiness is about to go up. Yay! Handiness level four. Heck yes. That's one of the more difficult things to get up at, in my opinion. So Sim World Day starts tomorrow. Cool. So this can go ahead and be tossed there. We can do some more diving. This probably needs a clean... Well, I guess not. Maybe it's just supposed to look that gross. Ew! So, um, whenever I get around to um, deleting things to make way for the house, the tiny home, um, I will just say I will be keeping track of everything that is added to their simoleon count. Um, and I won't be keeping it. Okay, you're happy. Why don't you mop those things up? I knew a little bit of dumpster diving. Die for deals? Let's see what we're able to get from the dumpster today. What bounty? A uh, Harbinger Island. Dive for deals, come on. You're just gonna get more messy, so you may as well just dive for deals. It looks like there's gonna be a lot of things that I can sell, so that's nice. Oh, nothing. Okay, nothing else. Alright, let's see here. We have that. All of these, which are in questionable condition. Okie dokie, so... Let's... Take a shower. And... How are your other needs? You need to eat. Uh, psychiatrist. Okay, apparently they need to go to the psychiatrist and that's what's gonna help us find out what's going on with them, so... Let's do that. I thought I sent them at the end of last episode, but... <laughs> I guess it... Because I didn't let it complete. It might have... Just... Voided it. Um... Upon evaluation, Joe has been diagnosed with an eating disorder, bulimia. Sims who have bulimia have distorted views of their self-image, a preoccupation with weight, looks, and exercise, and generally suffer from negative body image and low self-esteem. 
They experience periods of binge eating followed by purging. They are more prone to health and dental issues. Sims can spend time on fitness and wellness activities as well as self-help activities to help treat the disorder. The psychiatrist recommends a treatment plan which includes therapies which may help a sim's outlook. The psychiatrist also brought up the possibility of medication. Is this something Joe is interested in? I think for now we're just going to go with therapy treatments, though there is no shame in taking medication. Um, I just don't believe Joe would want to try that just yet. Okay, so you need to eat something and not throw it up. Talk therapy. Okay, the psychiatrist has recommended group therapy as a treatment option for Joe. Oh, that. Well, it's a good thing you're a freaking. I was trying to not have you throw that up, but I guess, um. Yeah. So, you need to make another rug. Let's have you go to the maker space. And why don't you invite Aaron along? Hey there, buddy. We need to chat with the client, but after we do that, maybe uh, we can I can chat with you. Okay, so we need... Um, Computer, where is the computer? Um, you're the master crafter, so maybe I should enthuse about fabrication with you. Let's do the howdy introduction. Let me see. Um, hobbies, enthuse about. Deep thoughts. Why can't I enthuse about fabrication? Well, I'm sure at some point we'll figure out how to do that. Hey, hi, dude. Can I express my admiration of you? I'm not gonna discuss expanding the family because you're just gonna go and adopt a kid. And they're in a good mood, that's great. Talk about mental health. Oh no! Why are you being so mean? Ask for social advice. Discuss fears. Why don't you do some stargazing? That gave you a bit of a connection last time, so it's like I would take this as a sign that they're not meant to be. It's just. I feel like this would be difficult with anybody. So let's fabricate a rug. And they're getting really tired, so we should probably just get this done. All right, created the rug. Let's go send it to the client. Oh, hi. Hi, Jeb. Jeb is so cute. Let me see here. Freelancer, send to client for approval, fabricated rug. There we go. I know you don't like it, but we're just gonna have to deal with it. Come on. This rug is even better than my last rug. Thanks so much. Thanks for your business. Okay. So you're very tired. I need you to go to sleep. It's Sim World Day, and what we need to do for that is party spirit, invite guests, fireworks, drinking and barbecue so why don't we invite over Aaron into a barbecue after we finish up with the uh, garden you know what I'm gonna have you harvest everything you should grill you should grill a lote and you should invite Aaron over Right, he's going to be right over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God bless you. 
far to meal. So I think what, let's see what you can make. Um, can't make anything to sit in. Okay, well that's fine. So why don't we have a deep conversation? He's sad. Why is he sad? Try to cheer up. Let's um, compliment his appearance. I think you're pretty cute, you know that? Heartfelt compliment. Oh, romance skill! Uh, um... Clerk? He's into it. He's into it! <gasps> Do they have a romance bar? Are they gonna get a romance bar? Pick up play? Let's try this. Let's go. While we're in good moods. Oh, he's, he took it! <gasps> this might be going somewhere. Oh, they're flirty. Embrace? Oh! Jill is under the impression that another sim has their gaze fixed directly upon them. What a glimmer, with a glimmer in their eyes, it's plain to see that Aaron has an intense interest in Joe. If Joe tries to push things to a more intimate level, they may have a good chance at success. I'm gonna accept that. Joe has accepted Aaron's advances. He looks excited, anticipating the opportunity of experiencing a passionate moment with Joe. They can do whatever they want with them, with, with him for the next few hours. <gasps> oh my god. Am I doing this right? Oh, they're into each other. Oh my god. <sighs> Am I doing this right? I really have no idea if I'm doing this right. Um. <gasps> they have a romance bar. Hold hands. Oh my god, this is this is going so much better than Love Day. Um Exchange numbers. They're good friends now. Oh my gosh. This is so good. Oh, he's into them. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for them. Wait, what are they doing? Oh. Okay, we are not going to Yeah, we're not going to we're going we're not going to look at that. Okay then. And we'll catch back up with you. Uh, we'll catch back up with them after they have finished that. So that happened, okay. I'm gonna say they probably are getting along pretty well. Okay, well. This is going better than I expected. Oh, he's so into them. Well, let's, uh... Ask them on a date then. <laughs> nope. Oh, apparently, um, apparently we're having the same issue as before. Okay, well.
Okay, well, this we got it to load. Um, I don't think the date is going on though, so let's invite Aaron over. Oh, Aaron's already here. Cool. Well, oh, Joe, I think I'm gonna need you to collect soy wax. Um, the next thing I want to do with Joe is get a candle maker. Um, in addition to, you know, getting to know Aaron better. Um, let's see, where is Aaron? Focus the camera. Uh, okay, he, he bailed. Oh! I need to challenge myself. A new job might be the solution. What do you think? Yeah, go for it. Go for it. I mean, um, Joe has to have a certain job, but Aaron does not have to. I think we should get a drink. Custom drink. Buy custom drinks. Apricot Bellini. I think Apricot Bellini would be great. Uh, Joe feels being proper is very important to them and seems to be spending more time on themselves. Embrace the change. Yeah, I think that's fine. <laughs> Do you have the Apricot Bellini in your inventory? Yeah, you should. You should be able to drink. I'm pretty sure you're not Prego. So our sweet little Joe is now proper. Juice Fizzer would also open up more options, but let's go home. gonna say that they have invited guests and they have grilled because they have we've witnessed it oh boy have we witnessed it so let's get ourselves a candle maker okay I think this is usable so we should be able to They need to make another rug. Um, by 9 p.m. Tuesday, we're just gonna, we don't have the bits and pieces that are needed. So let's recycle, recycle the dye. Okay, that should hopefully be enough to fabricate a rug. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. Fabrication level two, heck yes. Are you able to chat with the client on the phone or do you need a computer for that? All right, it looks like you've created the rug. Um, I'm gonna see if this will work, hold on. Oh, that's not gonna work. Oh, goodness. Okay, I think they can still reach. Um, use laptop. So I need you to chat with the client and then send the finished work to the client. We can just sell any extra things on Plopsy. I feel like that's gonna help a lot. But if we can continue getting our romance up with Aaron, um, we could invite him to move in and finally make some headway. 
finally make some headway on um, getting them a little small home. I mean, a suburban mini home is going to stand out quite a bit in this place, but I think um, I think it'll be fine. We will continue to get our fabrication up by way of candle making. Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we finished making the candle. Let's list that on Plopsy. Now you are very tired and very stinky. So take a shower. Okay, so the elote apparently did not stay in there. It's okay, you've got hamburgers. Well, apparently hamburgers are just not happening. Oh, <laughs> gremlins. Gotta love it. Oh, why is the flower? I'm going to ask you something important. Okay, so here it is. A cereal soup. No. Sims like you didn't check the Simspedia article. I don't get you. I don't get you either. Okay, I'm um, talking with people. There's Millie. Wow. Blossom, that was rude. Let's sell everything. You should get a hamburger. So Aaron is really into us, it looks like. Um, so I think, I think, um, he might be the one we want. Let's invite him over again. Aaron will be right over. Hey. Let's have you. Embrace. Oh my god, really? Are you kidding? Joe has noticed that Aaron's eyes are lingering on them more and more. There's an intensity to their stare, and with their attention fixed squarely upon them, this may be the chance to move things in a more <laughs> intimate direction. Guys, I think, uh, I think this is it. And this is what they want. They want each other. Um, I think, um... Even though this has moved very quickly, we should just go ahead and ask him to move in. <laughs> wow, this is not anything I expected. Uh, I did not expect this at all from Joe. Um, yeah. So... Yeah. I think we can get started with um, asking Aaron to move in and I think I'll have them ask him to move in once they're done with the, their adult activities. I can't believe they're doing this again. I did not tell them to do this. I guarantee you I just wanted them to embrace messiness kills the mood okay it's not you Joe it's just hard to feel the vibes when there's dust sticking to my feet and a vaguely musty scent emanating from everywhere around okay so I will probably need to do an extra video of making the home but Joe is going to take their relationship with Aaron to the next level, and I think it might be better for them. 
end their relationship if, um... <laughs> oh, the romance festival is going on. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm gonna let them finish, though. I'm real happy for them, and I'm gonna let them finish. <laughs> okay, they're finished. What are you gonna do? Die for ingredients? Let's travel to the romance festival. We'll kick the romance up a bit. Come on, you two. Okay, let's go and have them pour soccer tea together. Propose a crazy scheme. So, this is crazy, but maybe you would want to move in with me? Oh, also, while we're here, harvest everything. Talk about marriage. Let's see how he handles talking about marriage. Breathe in and out. They're really cute. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> I got scared for a moment. Like, again? <laughs> Describe a flirty dream. Mention the flirty festival vibe. Flirtation. Let's ask about court. They're so flirty. So how do I ask you to be? How do I ask? Um, first kiss. Well, let's do let's do a first kiss. Though I think you two are far beyond that now. Um, are you guys gonna do a first kiss? They're so short. Okay, so I think... I hope... Hear what I'm doing. Ask to be boyfriend. Let's do that. Do you want to be boyfriend? <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh! They're together! Oh, they found love. And I think. I'm gonna have them ask to join the household. Yes! He said yes! Alright. He's, he's moved in with us. And I think on that note, I'm gonna end it here. This is a great ending. <laughs> They're stinky. They're so stinky. But they're... They're so in love. It's so good. They're lovers. All right, well, that's it for this episode. I have the biggest smile on my face. I know you can't really see it with the VTuber, but I'm really happy that this has worked out for them. And I'm excited to finally give them their very own little home. So on that note, I will be ending the episode on this beautiful little moment. And I will see you all next time. Please remember to like and subscribe if you're enjoying Joe's story <laughs> and Aaron. It's, and Aaron, oh my gosh, 
I'm so happy that they have finally found love and I can finally give them a proper small home. So until next time, I will see you later and I hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.